we'll look at that. You've got all sorts. You've got pistachios. It's quite nuts. We're here at Fat Joe's and they're serving up something very. What's this one, bro? What's this one called? This is a handmade gourmet burger. Shout out to your burger. Here we go. It's holy for me for a sec because these look incredible. Exactly that familiar taste from my Fat Joe's review. A lot more smokier than um, other smash burgers or any burgers I've had. I think the one thing that sticks out for me is that smash, uh, that smoky element. How's that looking? Yeah, it's looking all yeah, that is what you call the dream burger. So guys, this kanafa, I've just taken a bite out of it, but the textures on that, this bit's a little bit dense, this bit's incredibly chewy, this bit's a bit crispy on the top, as you can see. Okay, okay, bring it forward, bring it forward. Bring it in. Wow, look at that. The cheese pull on this is crazy, guys. Bro, this is gonna happen. Ah, go on. Uh, how much is that? I'm not even gonna calculate it, but that's a big cheese pull. Fully loaded donut. Uh, Biscoff, you've got Oreo, or you've got like white chocolate, you've got milk chocolate. Fair donuts, these are delicious. Yes, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new episode of no, 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 not a brand new episode of Halal Munchies. Today, I'm doing a special one. If you haven't seen my German doner kebab video already, uh, I've actually, oh, I was in Manchester, now I'm in Birmingham for the long weekend. We're gonna do a Ramadan street food video. I'm gonna show you off all the amazing street food, which is here in Coventry Road. So I cannot wait to show you guys uh, the, the amazing street food in Coventry Road. I've been dying to do a video like this for years, but I think today is the day. So let's check that out. So we got some kebab actions going on here. Watch your kebab. And I think this is a traditional uh, uh, Arab, Arabic way of cooking things, we say Lebanese I think, but it looks, yeah, he's fanning it down with a little fan, he's actually got cardboard, so, oh look, he's toasting the buns just there, so, this is an option for you guys at the Ramadan street food kind of festival, let's call it a festival, um, and he's cooking on ch uh, charcoal I believe, and then he's got these fresh, um, fresh bread just now, and then you can get all these sauces and your uh, lettuce, your vegetables. So guys, we're here at Fat Joe's, and they're uh, serving up so, something very what's this one bro what's this one called this is a handmade gourmet burger handmade gourmet yeah, yeah. burger so the four ranks burgers char grilled and that adds another element to the burger nice nice yeah, nice and then, uh, we got some grilled chicken same marinade as the strips of the top oh yeah i remember that um, but again charcoal adds uh, another dimension man. yeah man i love it man it gives that smoky flavor too doesn't it 100 percent so as you can tell the fat's dripping off the beef um creating uh, more flavor so yes. it's, it's fantastic yeah. win -win. So guys, I've always said Fat Joe's is the best smash burger in uh, Birmingham and I, I'm going to prove to you guys why that is. Shout out to your burgers. Here we go. It's holy for me for a sec because these look incredible and I cannot wait to tuck into these. Okay, we've got the Fat Joe's burger. Come on, bring it in. I don't know if you can zoom into that. Like get a good... Ooh, look at the caramelized onions on that. How's that looking on camera, cameraman? Perfect. Yeah, and then cheese that's melted on. And then they've given us an Angus, which is quite interesting because I haven't had Angus, mayo and lettuce, and on a brioche bun. Exactly that familiar taste from my Fat Joe's review. A lot more smokier than um, other smash burgers or any burgers I've had. I think the one thing that sticks out for me is that smash, uh, that smoky element. How's that looking? Yeah, it's looking all yeah, that is what you call the dream burger. Okay, so we've just come into like a Islamic clothing store uh, to get away from the hustle and bustle of Coventry Road, but it's incredibly busy in here too. So I think we're gonna kind of catch our breath 
and then go back out and get some delicious food. So we are at Yafa Hanafa, a new establishment on Coventry Road. I think this was called um, Abu, Abu Zaid. Zaid. Abu Zaid. Uh, so there'll be some like rolling shots on the screen right now. Uh, the system is when you order stuff, you have to use a buzzer. I'm waiting for my kanafa. I got small, and I got a few pieces of um, baklava right now. I love baklava. Anything sweet, I tell you straight, I am there. I always say food goes to the belly, dessert goes to the heart, and I love something sweet. That is uh, probably a nice shot you're gonna get of um, the kanafa. How's that looking, cameraman? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. There's something about baklava that just hits the spot. Especially once you try the burger. Oh, no, look at that. Yeah. It's nutty, it's flaky, it's syrupy. It's got that sweetness kick. Here we go. Oh, the textures on that. This one's a bit dense, a bit crunchy, a bit nuttier. And again, you're concluded by that delicious syrup. I'm just taking a bite out to it, but the textures on that, this bit's a little bit dense, this bit's incredibly chewy, this bit's a bit crispy on the top, as you can see just there, and <coughs> it's amazing. Okay, Yaffa Kanafa, this is what we've been waiting for. Oh, look at that, you've got all sorts, you've got pistachios, it's quite nuts. You've got the, um, oh, I've got the pastry, but it's very similar to kind of like spaghetti, filo pastry. If them two had a baby, that's what kind of pastry you'd get. Uh, so let's try this uh, delicious kanafa. Okay, okay, bring it forward, bring it forward. Bring it in. Wow, look at The cheese pull on this is crazy, guys. Bro, this is gonna... Ah, <laughs> go uh, how much is that? I'm not even going to calculate it, but that's a big cheese Let's see how big this cheese pull is going to be. Oh, slow it, slow it down, slow it down. Slow it down. Go on. Yeah. Oh my god, go on. Bro, that was a big cheese pull. That was absolutely banging. It's cheesy, it's crispy, it's nutty. Oh, that is beautiful. Okay, folks, after a long, long wait, because they were extremely busy, we've got Gully's Donuts. We managed to get one of these donuts here. This is a fully loaded donut. Uh, Biscoff, you've got Oreo, or you've got like white chocolate, you've got milk chocolate, and you've got the donuts. So we're gonna go in straight away. I said to him, my number one uh, spot for donuts is Chai Pani. But we'll see if these are better than Chai Pani. Here we go. Crispy outer coating, fluffy from the inside. Oh my god! Fun fair donuts. These are delicious. Mm. There's something about that butter. Something about the butter. But another th another thing he said is they've got the best tea. So let's get the. Uh, that's their tea. I think this is a dud patty. So it's only milk, I think, and a lot of herbs and spices and all that good masala. Here we go. Oh, here's a good, it's a very, very milky and creamy. Oh, it's incredibly creamy. If I was to like do a top five dry face again, link in the bio, uh, yeah, this would definitely make the top five. Beautiful. So guys, I think I'm gonna do the outro here because as uh, I didn't manage to get through a lot of the traffic. There's so many stalls here, so many people, so much good food. I uh, managed to get about three, four places, which I think is decent for like two, three hours of uh, work. Uh, but yeah, if you're new here, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow the Instagram page at Halal Munchies Reviews. And that was a Ramadan special street food on Commentary Road, Birmingham.